Hey guys and welcome to my 2k subscriber special video. As I said I will do a little Q&A kind of video for you to enjoy and I thought let's do it like the pro ops I um, do every now and then and yeah for this I am joined by Mr. Landshark as my interviewer this time. Oh hi there, the, the, the shoes on the other foot. Yeah, this oh. time. Uh, how, how do you feel like in that position now? <laughs> I feel powerful. Ooh. I feel like I've got all the cards in my hand. Well, I've got a fair few cards here full of questions for you. So we'll, we'll, we'll uh, get through those. How exciting is that? Yeah, really. I'm really excited. Um, I, I have to say, I've, uh, as I have collected the questions, I have ri uh, written, uh, read them all, but still... Um, <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's always weird having someone ask you a question, even if you know the answer. It's almost like being interviewed, it's like a job or something, so we shall definitely put you to the test here. So we've got the first generic question, not from anyone in particular, but tell us something about yourself. The standard opening question that I've got on the list here. Yeah, so um, that's also a question I normally tell those guys, hey, if you do not feel familiar with sharing stuff about yourself, uh, don't, don't feel uh, forced. Yeah, but I, I can tell you a, a few uh, pips and pops, uh, as you would say, <laughs> about myself. I'm from Germany, as uh, most of you will probably know by now. I um, have a little family with two kids, so I'm pretty busy in IRL uh, also. And yeah, I'm for profession, I am a structural engineer. So my affinity for numbers and uh, spreadsheets uh, comes from, from over there. So you're, you're, you're telling me that a German, yes, good at maths and good engineering, that, crazy. I've never yeah. heard of such a thing before. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly not the absolute um, uh, standard thing that everybody thinks about uh, Germans. <laughs> Fantastic. And I imagine that when your kids grow up to a certain age, they'll be like Dawn of War unification professionals. Mm, that, that's, quite learning a, from the master. that's quite a, a long uh, wait for, for, for in, in Germany, because in Germany it is uh, at... Uh, I think age 16 until you can play Dawn of War, so it's gonna be a while. Oh, that's, that's, that's fine. We can always we can always ask the Unification guys to make a child-friendly version <laughs> of uh, Unification. Maybe that's a, that's a thing that can happen. Yeah, that's an interesting thought. How, how would it be look like? Everybody shooting like uh, confetti at each other. Uh, that yeah, would be everyone Harlequin. best friends. Uh, there was no Horace Heresy. It was just Horace just saying, oh, Let's all be friends. <laughs> War before okay, in, in the Grim Dance of Far Future, there is only friendship. How about that? <laughs> That's nice. I, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, then, so now let's go on to the questions from other actual real life human beings. So, Mr. Blue Dude asks Face reveal when? Yeah, that, that, that's a question I was uh, kind of thinking uh, should I uh, put it in and just say no? For guys that. Um, uh, followed me for long before there's one singular video on the YouTube where you can see my face uh, You have to dig through quite a lot of it and it may or may not be on my channel or and or some other channel But there is a video in the in the YouTube where you can see my my face So if you want it you, you have to dig for yourself Oh, I see so it's a little bit like like a like an Easter egg hunt. That's the thing because I've, I've even I as, as a fellow co-caster don't know what you look like IRL, so I'm going to have to go in there and do a little bit of exploring myself. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yes, totally sir. not making you watch a lot of my videos here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see what you're, you're, you're beating the algorithm in your own way. That's good. Oh, okay then, so if there's no, well, I mean, there is a face. Let's see what's the next question. One from Vrax. Out of all the current factions, which do you love cheesing with? Yeah, you see one of these factions is actually me playing right now. It's uh, Steel Legion. I also do a little uh, cheese for the uh, survival games, which will be fixed uh, in the next version, where you can get two doctrines in action. So that's why I chose uh, Steel Legion. But yeah, they're, they're, I, I generally like to cheese a lot. It's um, my favorite way of playing, I have to say. In the tournament that's going on right now, I, I learned to love um, some good old Dark Angels scout spam cheese and yeah it's uh there's a lot of good cheeses i have to say not not like these um definition we had before this version where cheese would be like just putting some overpowered units out but they are like tier 2 rushes as i said steel legion tier 2 rush nothing wrong with that uh tier 2 rush into stormtroopers is one of my favorite things tier 2 rush with 
um, what you, what I call again demon hunters into chimera sets. There's a lot of stuff you can you can do, which I I really in, enjoy doing. Okay, well on, on the adverse of, of that question, then maybe when you're playing, is there any kind of cheese that you think, oh my goodness, I absolutely despise this cheese being in the game. Please get rid of it. Um, yes, probably. Um, also, really a hard question on the fly. Um, also, oh, while I'm <laughs> attacked by those pesky, pesky case marines here, could you please just leave my base? I want to just tech up freely and not be harmed here. Uh, may need to concentrate for a second here. That's a freaking That's chaos right. sorcerer, and I have no army. How could you? Um. Yeah, they're um, the, the most uh, cheese things I would would like to be um, get rid of is for the uh, uh, world eaters, I guess. The world eaters have so many different cheeses that um, most of them are just from the previous developer of them as oversights or maybe even intentional, I'm not sure. So there, are, I, I would like to get some of those cheeses gone. For example, the uh, uh, servitor cheese is one of which I really really hate playing against this is uh, you can get like the bloodsmith or what it's called and some servitors and they are just super powerful and can repair themselves and yeah all the good stuff and, and there's just no need those servitors canon and they should be well, I mean what, 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 what they're just lobotomized slaves really aren't they they've got no need to be so strong in a game like this yeah it's uh, as I said the previous uh, coder of the uh, um, the uh, mod which is uh, no longer part of the unification team <laughs> had a lot of interesting ideas uh, about faction oh well fair enough okay good amount of detail there catching on the fly let's go for we've got a million questions from fuggles 2k so we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a couple of his questions first uh, are you still laughing <laughs> that's, that's a good one but as you hear as you hear me laughing yes uh, I'm still laughing uh, the, the name comes uh, from a little uh, different thing, but st yeah, I'm I'm still laughing. Um, uh, the, the the thing is that I, um, uh, how should I put it? Uh, put it, um, it? It fits me because like in some games when there's enemy like totally trash talking me, um, the usual response for me is just laughing at him because he takes it so serious and I do not. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm still laughing. I'm I'm happy here being here and yeah. Confirmed. Yeah, and you know, laughter is best form of medicine for a lot of things. And yeah, I, I think that whenever you get trolled on a game or, you, or generally, generally to be honest, anything on the internet that's a bit bad, I guess, laughing is always the best way to go about it because if, if it's, it, it annoys the other people the most, if anything, rather than reacting, you just laugh and then it's all good vibes there. Yeah, like the good old saying, don't feed the trolls. Um, if you just ignore them or laugh at them, you do do the best. Yeah, that's all what I used to do. So yeah, I'm still laughing. I'm I'm being happy, as I say, in the position I I am here, um, having like this actually 2K special. Like that means I have 2K subscribers. That's something that I wasn't really sure I would be reaching like at all, like any any time. And here here I am. Yeah, well, it, it's 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 amazing what you're doing, um, considering that uh, when I mean we 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 we've, we've kind of grown together, haven't we? Uh, I remember when we first did our co-cast a long, long feels like a long, long time ago. But it's been about a year and a year and three months, I think, since our first co-cast together. I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but it's been it's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, there were. Uh, there were the, the things turned around uh, there were I was the big channel back then and now look at you <laughs> it's like uh, no I have oh, you'll to always you'll always be the big channel to me Max oh now now you can put some hearts in the comments come on <laughs> <laughs> that's it some, some some love and and joy that's what we that's what we all want and need in our lives okay so actually on the topic of um growth and and you enjoying yourself and still laughing uh, are you still enjoying Dawn of War Unification? Another question from Fuggles. Uh, yes. Um, I, it's like, um, I know that some people grow, grow sick is the wrong word for it, but they are grow sometimes, um, if they're doing the same thing uh, 
too much they will get bored or um, yeah one way or the other do not like continuing and I, I've been been uh, like this also with some of my stuff that I've been involved in and I've been really involved with unification more than I would was involved with other stuff um, but I, I'm, I'm still here I'm enjoying it so it's um, yeah I as I said I have had um, some involvements with other stuff in the past as well uh, like it, it sounds silly but I had like a and one of these mobile games, I had a, a, a guild that I uh, leaded and everything. But usually, after about a year, I lose interest and, and be like, "Yeah, why? Why should I continue this? This is getting a little boring." But I am not not this with unification. I don't see me um, uh, stopping doing some casts for unification like ever. Yeah, so so you, so you, you mentioned that you were. The lead on like an online game, what uh, sorry, an online mobile game, what was that? That was um what is it called? Give me a second. Uh oh shoot. It was it was like a pseudo card game. It wasn't a card game but it played like a card game. Come on, give me a second. I uh, half stud? No 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 no. Uh, a smaller one. A way smaller one. Um I, I will get to it. It's like it's like totally with a power creep now, pestered and everything. I, I need to look at my phone because I, in my app store it should be in my history, I guess. Give me a second. Yeah, it, no it totally bothers me that I, I, I cannot think of it. <laughs> um, oh, clearly so much time has gone by. It's, it's gone back into the into the memory pile. Oh, that's okay. It's been, it's been a long time since I've played it. In fact, actually, I tell a lie. I played the uh, Warhammer 40k online card game for a video a couple of weeks ago and that was okay that was passable for a, for a, for a game uh, it, it told it why can't i think of it i played like a year like i even um, woke up at night playing because there had this stupid mobile thingy where you need to uh, do stuff at a specific time Jesus Christ! Uh, but I will, I will, I will think about it uh, uh, later in the cast and uh, in the interview here. Mm. All right then, a little a little treat for for later then. Okay, let's look at let's go for a question from Where's the damage? number sixty five sixty seven. Which is your favorite max casts? That's a that's a question that has multiple answers because I think you you kind of said the same when you were asked this question. There are like multiple levels. Um, I, I really enjoyed the first cast I ever did because it was like the first cast for unification that was ever ever be done, and I was like, nice. It is possible. It was okay-ish for the time. Nice for the time, I, I, I think. And then there are multiple levels. Like also the first co-cast we ever did was like the first co-cast of unification that has ever been done, and it was. It was really good. It's like not like we we had like a bad performance or anything. It was also really good. So um, yeah, that's that's something. And then of course the the cast about uh, unification invitational, where it was the first tournament. So it, and it's it's uh, I, as you notice, I like to do new stuff. I, I try to get uh, new stuff in the formula every now and then. And yeah, so doing the new stuff is really. Uh, what keeps me going here and yeah, there are a lot of games that I, I enjoyed but um, I have like my cast numbers are like now one nearing the 140 not counting in tournament casts so for forgive me if I do not remember all all the casts oh, of course I was gonna say because if, if you do even if you do like one a week if you've been doing it for the longest you have that's still quite a sizable amount of games to remember but yeah I like what you say about doing the new things because I think that bringing new things to the table and trying like even if it's sort of like a little bit of a change just to keep things a little bit fresh a little bit exciting every now and then does a really large job for the um not only for your videos but also for the community at large because the more people that watch it the more people want to play the more new players get involved and that's just quite an exciting thing isn't it yeah the, the, that's a part of my guide series the first of all i the first before i did the guides i wasn't sure that i would be quote unquote good enough to uh, um, do this guide so I was a little hesitant but uh, I, I do not regret doing those because there's a lot of people 
that uh, don't, don't get me wrong me don't get me like I'm uh, a jerk or something that are worse than me and would like to have a guiding hand so I, I figured yeah might as well get them on my level first and then they can even grow better because there's of course a lot of uh, a lot of um, weight and how should I say there's a lot of um, levels over me of course you, you can reach in terms of stuff you can do in Dawn of War well, I mean, you, you, I mean, you, you say that, but like, I, I look at some of your videos, and especially when you, in, in your more recent ones, where you've adapted the top left hand side and got those both double, blooming economy, things on the go. Like, I think that's like a really nice little addition to something which I, I never even considered that was even a thing that would be a wise thing to do. So, no, you, 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 you're doing God, you're doing the God Emperor's work there, Max. I think. <laughs> And I tell you, it's quite a lot of work to do these uh, eco overlays. I have to record every video three times, like the cast and then the two perspectives for the stuff. And uh, especially now that I'm, um, I started the tournament coverage where it's uh, more than one game per video, um, it's, it takes me like half an hour uh, or even more to just edit um, a singular video. But uh, it, it, it's. I, I'd really like what what it turns out to be, so that's why why I'm doing it. Yeah, nice. All right, okay, let's have a look at. Ooh, let's go for another Fuggles one. Um, has anything? Oh, hold on. Yeah, what is it like being a tester or part of the development for the mod? Yeah, that's um, uh, as you if you're not following me, I'm one of the few guys having access to the beta. Um, uh, got invited um, by the Mr. Keck himself, Mr. Kekulis. Um It's it's quite an experience. It has um, has been a lot of trust been put on on me and uh, the other testers. Um, like a lot of um, my suggestions are considered and put into game, which is like really. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not English main speaking, but it's yeah, it's uh, heartwarming or something like that. You you're you're just this guy playing this mod, having some videos on, and but you're you're considered that you, uh, what you do, what you um, suggest is viable, and a lot of the stuff I suggested is being put in as well. So that's yeah, I, uh, heartwarming is probably the right word for it. So I really. Um, it's really nice, but it's not all fine and dandy, as I usually tell these guys, because it is a lot of work as well. It's, it's, it's not just testing and having fun, doing some cool videos. It's like I put in hours and hours of testing, um, hours and hours of just watching the loading screen because I want to test something. Um, so it is work, but it's uh, very rewarding if you see uh, what it turns uh, into and that you can uh, actually kind of shape what unification is because especially now in this version i put a lot of suggestions in for certain factions uh, and um, really because i'm not coding it sounds wrong but uh, like really shaped uh, a few factions uh, by my input oh yeah you, you, i imagine that it, it must it must feel really good to have like some sort of Oh, con how do I want to say like, like like a contribution, like 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 leaving like a little stamp on what the game looks like, even 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 if it's like a little small thing. But like I, I imagine that must feel really really cool. Yeah, it's uh, rewarding as well that in the uh, in the grand scheme of things, you're really uh, able to uh, make this awesome mod even more awesome. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Let's go for. Oh, okay. What is your least favorite part? <laughs> oh, so, actually, no, hold on, no, but, um, that's a part. Oh, these questions are parts. There's part one and part two. Um, has anything about the process of being part of the development team been surprising to you? Um, surprises are there every day. Um, it's mainly, mainly if, if you play this game you, and you, um, let's say, have have an understanding how complex the game is, you, and then you come in the on the development side and then you understand how really complex the game is, is on the on the back end as well so there are surprises how the engine how everything works like like every other day um, it's like really don't don't know for whoever invented it is like a totally madman 
uh, as, for some of the stuff in in this engine. But yeah, um, um, yeah, it surprised me like in the first time in the beta that um, the development team is way smaller than you would think of when you play this a big mod. You think yeah, there are like 20 people, 30 people working on it, but yeah, it's it's more or less a bit more than a handful that's working on this. So. Um, you have to really appreciate uh, the time and effort they put in here. Um, that's something that surprised me as well. Um, yeah, but mostly there are surprises like uh, every other day when I uh, suggest something. Uh, in the beginning it was more I suggest something and then they say yeah, but uh, the engine cannot handle this and the engine cannot handle this. So it's even more surprising to see what, what was already made possible to this point. Um, so yeah, they're, they're basically surprises every other day. Ah, oh, so it's kind of like as, as you've learned how the or what the limitations of the engine. That's like a kind of almost refined what you've suggested for the game. Yeah, I, I learn it by suggestion, and then uh, if I learn more how the the engine works, I can do better suggestions as well. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, working both ways. Uh, learning process for everyone. Okay then, um, so. I've got any more people that aren't Fuggles asking questions. <laughs> yeah, he has um, a lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of questions. I love it. Oh, uh, have I have I asked you why you chose a smiley face as your profile? No, no. You, the, the question was I'm still laughing, but the the smiley face is actually a nod to my favorite anime series, where there is it's Ghost in the Shell, and in the first series there are like movies and also series. Um, the first series there's like the uh, "Quote unquote antagonist, the laughing man, who has also like this little smiley face. Um, so, and I'm the laughing Max. So it's uh, not to this series. So this is where it comes from. Oh, all right, okay. Laughing Max, an anime fan confirmed. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Uh, well, yeah, I have a few <laughs> animes. Uh, Ghost in the Shell is uh, by far my most favorite one. Have you been watching any recently? Uh, no, I have a, 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 a IRL friend that I used to watch uh, anime because he is like a real anime geek and everything. So um, I was watching like stuff with him. Um, but yeah, the, due to IRL constraints, I haven't seen him in a while. I have to say, um, what was the last thing we watched? Uh, give me a second. What did we watch? It was cool. We finished it. Um, Doctor Stone, it's called. Um, it's like uh, there's some stuff happening and then everybody is like turned to stone for what I don't know 5,000 years and then they uh, start to wake up yeah really really wacky uh, sto um, um, story but then they have this guy which uh, reinvents basically everything he is like the doctor in the stone age that's dr. stone and then he reinvents like all the good stuff and even electricity and yeah as you learn something actually while watching this uh, anime. Excellent, sir. Uh, educational anime. They said it couldn't be done, but Dr. Stern is a <laughs> clever boy. Clever boy indeed. <laughs> let's look at. Let's go back to some Fuggles questions. Let's go with what is. I suppose what your favorite bit of working with Unification? I think that's the same as what's it like being a tester. Uh, but do you have a favorite bit? Any, any, any particular memories or any particular bits that you think, yeah, cool, man? Um, I think it's mainly also um, the, that my suggestions are like treated the way they are. Um, so you, 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 um, favorite bits is when you have a suggestion, then you have a good discussion, and then you find a good solution for stuff that is previously not as well it, it should be, basically. So yeah. they are even using hell tenants in the backside of my base. What is this? A player or something? Oh my god, it's not playing against a woman real player now. Come on, Tanky, get them, get him. Um, what is your least favorite bit of work with unification? And um, there's like two answers to these questions. There's like my least favorite thing, like working with unification in the public version. It was doing getting the uh, tech trees done before the death mode was a thing where you can build stuff instantly I really had to wait for every building and every unit to be built in real time and then you forgot something and you had to do it again and again and again so 
you can imagine how long it took me to make the Emperor's Threaten um, uh, tech tree. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I bet that took you a, a fairly long time to get that done. I, 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 because you always hear also the, uh, um, the, uh, the, like the, like these chants of the buildings in the background. I, I nearly grew mad doing this, <laughs> doing these tech trees. You, you nearly joined the Slaneshi hordes. Yeah, yeah it, wa it was close. It was It was close. <laughs> it was, it was close. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay. Um, having a look at the and yeah, next uh, sorry. And the least favorite bit for the for the beta is if you um, have to test and to test like load in, load in again, load in again. It, it can be frustrating if something uh, is not working as the devs and you are thinking and you test it again and again and again and you're like, holy moly, can this be done? <laughs> uh, this is also not not very fun, uh, not a very fun experience, but um, it, it's rewarding in the end. Yeah, it's one of those ones where the actual doing of it is not the most exciting, but then one you've actually done all of it, then you suddenly think, ah, oh, yeah, actually now it's now it's okay, yeah. All right then, what is your favorite army in Dawn of War Unification? That's a question I can easily answer. I do not have one. Um, I, I was actually just before we did uh, before we do this uh, interview here, going through all the 29 current factions, and I, I couldn't think of one that I would prefer the most. Um, there are of course some that I prefer, that I like to play more than others, like the Legion here. For, for vanilla factions it's clearly Imperial Guard, um, because yeah, I'm, I'm a guard guy, um, if you, as you may notice. But I also like like chaos, chaos stuff happening here and there, um, so it's unification I like a lot because they are not like all the same, not playing all the same, they are all very unique. And how they play, so there's hard for me to find something I would prefer the most. Because I, I'm a guy I like, I like not change. What is it? Um, like having some different play styles, different stuff every now and then. So playing all the same, the, the same faction over and over again is probably not my cup of tea. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the one of the major major benefits of unification is the variety in faction, so I suppose having just one that you play all the time, I mean, I, you know, never to judge another man or woman for the playstyle, but it would make sense to have a bunch of different factions that you enjoy playing. Do you have a least favorite faction? <laughs> um, as I said, it's more like having a least favorite faction to play as. I'm not really good, for example, with um, Dark Elder. I'm not really good with. I'm not really good with Necrons. Uh, Necrons, I, I cannot for my for the best of me I cannot really play them um, and what can I also not play very good is probably give me a second I had it on uh, on my tongue uh, <laughs> um, I, I will come up with it later on chaos demons I really enjoy chaos demons and the thematic and everything but I, I, I really can't play them well all the demons die when I move them and then, then I, I lose the games and I feel horrible. <laughs> so. Yeah, they're, they're certainly an unusual faction. Any, any faction that breaks the traditional kind of economy, building production, research kind of thing, that it is harder to get your head around them, isn't it? Yeah, uh, but, but it's also, again, nice to have them because it's like um, having the same kind of um, thing over and over again. Would would uh, would be boring uh, for the players and for me, so yeah. <laughs> All right. Any non-fuggle questions? We have got. How do you feel about being a world record holder? <laughs> that's uh, that's a question about my my past as speedrunner. I do not speedrun at the moment, but I ran um, Dark Crusade for quite a while, and um, I still have most of the records. Um, for the campaign over there, um, but I, I don't feel so proud because um, first speedruns I saw I was like I can easily beat that and then I easily beat them, so uh, there's uh, not much competition in, in that sense. So um, you, you can take 
if you're really into speedrunning and see my records and really want to get uh, the, speed, the records, you probably can get them. So there, there are one or two uh, categories that were, are really optimized. Um, one is the Necron Any Percent and also Elder All Strongholds Percent. Um, yeah, if, if you're not pseudoing them, that uh, doesn't uh, tell you a lot what it <laughs> is, but there's like categories if you just win the game as fast as possible, it's any percent. If you have to defeat all the strongholds, it's stronghold, uh, all strongholds. And if you have to get every single map and every single war gear, it's 100%. And yeah, these are, uh, as you may suggest, uh, very long. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good, but also, as I said, you can probably get my records. Um, if you really want to, want to. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's, I think, don't, don't I say, Max, I might be being a little bit humble here. I mean, having a world record in anything, knowing that you are the fastest in the world at just point blank anything, that's, that's, that's pretty cool if you ask me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, maybe, maybe I should feel a little bit better about it, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I stopped speedrunning uh, a while ago. I think it, I stopped speedrunning more or less because also of unification, because there's so much to cover with the guides and everything that I do not have the time to get all the runs in. And also it's very, um, uh, how should I say, it's like you're putting a lot of time in something that you cannot put uh, videos for it, because you have all these failed attempts, nobody really cares, everybody's just wanting your best result. So this is something um, not very uh, rewarding when you want to put out some videos. So that's probably why I stopped. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah but I get you there. All right, um, going on to, if you had access to the source code for <laughs> one change to the game, what would it be and why? It, it sounds silly, but I would add a pause feature. Everybody, I proposed this before, I was like, oh, there are so many bad people, they will just uh, abuse it and whatever. Yada, yada, yada. You, you always can argue that there are a lot of um, trolls out there, but the pause feature would be so, so nice. There's like, I, I have stopped in a period of time playing multiplayer because I couldn't guarantee that I wouldn't have to uh, pause the game or leave the game midst, midst playing because I, I have some IRL constraints coming in, so uh, a pause feature would be uh, would be my thing, I, I tell you. Yeah, and I suppose that would be quite useful for maybe newer players who are learning the game from someone else, and so they require, oh, I might actually come over and help with these blooming flying death thingies in your base. Much appreciated. Since no, since, um, no, since no one's attacking my base at the moment for some reason. Maybe uh, I have yeah, poked the beast a bit it, too it, hard here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. They've, they've, they've smelt blood in the water, and now they're trying to come and come and get you. But yeah, it's like um, if someone's learning the game, and being able to pause the game would then give you a chance to like explain what's going on in certain situations if you're a more experienced player to someone you're teaching. So I, I, I quite like that idea. Not bad. Yeah, that would be uh, make this game so much more new in the sense but yeah i mean yeah, there are a lot of th things you could say you could also say like add in uh higher higher ram usage of course this would be would be also a no-brainer to have um because if you have a higher ram um you can could get a, a rid of these ram crashes that everybody um so likes <laughs> <laughs> oh oh certainly like like i think if there was access to just increasing RAM. I, th I think this game would just be... Oh, yeah, I, th I think it'd be a lot more accessible for people who have constant crashes on their, on their PCs. Jesus Christ. I just wanted a freaking critical location because I wanted some reinforcements here. Is this too much I asked for? I guess it was. It's okay, we're coming in thick and fast. The power of the Steel Legion and the Ultramarines combined Wow, my PC is holding. I have a really nice shot here of us fighting together. Oh, even though no, of a let's go. Let's yes. fucking go. It's like, I think it's 10 frames per second for 15, but it's totally, <laughs> this is like thumbnail material right here. Yes. 
beating back the Hordes of Chaos. Lindrader Helios you have there as well, I think. Absolutely. I, I like my artillery. I like a good piece of artillery. Jesus Every now and then. In fact, we've also got more artillery thrown. I'll see what the, what this does. <laughs> Let's see what more. this does. What does this Let's button do? <laughs> <laughs> what does this button do? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Lots, lots of missiles from the artillery. Not bad. Who doesn't like some missiles? All right. All right. Um. Now the force of chaos been being back just a smidgen. Um. Yeah, a lot of health rigs. Like, what units would you like to see in the future? Ah, that's the question. Where you, where you uh, see me uh, with my pants down? Because I, I, I tell you something. I am not a big law guy. I have no freaking idea of the law. And I, I'm not ashamed of it, but yeah, they're like probably people be there like, how could you? This is the best law and stuff. No, I have no idea. I play Dawn of uh, uh, because of the because it's a nice game, not of course of the law. And that's also why I cannot really suggest a, a unit because I just don't know any more units than Unification already <laughs> has. Ah, so so even even if there was a really cool unit to have. Because you don't know the law, it's, it's not, it's not going to be in your in, in your brain. Yes. All right then, fair enough. Um, okay, on on the back of that, if there was a unit you could get rid of, you thought, no, I don't want this unit in the game anymore. Please get rid of it. Uh, it's none. I, I I like all the units, and if yeah, if there's some some discussion like in the beta team, um, how about we adding this unit? I'm always like, yes, <laughs> get it in. Um, it's yeah, it's, um, I have now a reinforcement. There we go. Um, and it's not because uh, I, I want to have this like bloated stuff. It's like I, I, I also want to know more about the, the not law or anything, but like, yeah, maybe even the law, like having more units inside than most of the units or let's say I, I put it out here. All the units that are put inside are really nice to see and that's why having another nice unit in would is always uh, uh, for me a yes yeah okay all right um, well, so, oh here's one is age of wonders planet fall any good as i may want to buy another question from Buggles. <laughs> um age of wonders the whole series is uh, you can quote me on that the best um, turn-based strategy game for PC like ever created so yes it is good <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the only uh, of the series that is in uh, like a post-apocalyptic um, yeah uh, you could say like 40k ish um, setting so probably if you like 40k you can also get your head around this one uh, so yeah, if you if you like a good old uh, turn-based strategy with some RPG elements, get it good. It's it's yeah, it's it's crazy good. Um, okay. If you if you want the best Age of Wonders game of the series, you should, however, go for a little older game, which is called Age of Wonders Shadow Magic. This is a game I have also played a hell of a lot when I was younger. Um, yeah, there there were no Steam <laughs> Steam hours for this game, but I have played a lot of it. Nice. And on on, on the back of that, I guess if you because uh, I like to say if, if if it's the best turn-based kind of game you've ever seen, are there any mechanics or any kind of like themes or things going on in that game that you think actually you know what Dawn of War Unification might benefit from having something like that in in the game? It is difficult because it's like turn-based and um, Dawn of War is uh, real-time. So there, there are not a lot of overlapping. Um, but there is a lot of things that other um, turn-based games could uh, take a peek. Um, like that you have a... Your, your combat is not done on the overworld map like you do in Sif, for example. Um, there you have just like battles on the on the overworld map and uh, doing some fixed damage and unit A hits and unit B dies. You have an actual tactical map where you go into. Every fight you do 
you do on a separate map where you have like for for planet fall it's like you can compare to XCOM, XCOM kind of fights. So you have this um, overworld strategy you have to manage, but then you have also like these fights to manage, and it's more or less 50-50 what you do. So it it um, also relaxes the game flow a bit as you do not do the same thing over and over again. Um, and you can do, especially against the AI, you can win fights that you normally were not supposed to win with some cheeky uh, tactical map uh, shenanigans. Okay, no, yeah, I, I, I get that. But um, one thing that, uh, oh, what was it? It was like, like you mentioned about Civilization VI. After maybe you're playing a campaign, you're on turn 400, you think, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, you're basically smashing one unit into another by moving on top of each other. And it, it can get a little bit stale. I, I, I will agree with you there. So, last question that I've got written down that's been sent in is, are there any games that you would recommend for others in the Dawn of War community that they think they might enjoy? Um, as Dawn of War is very special in, in many ways, um, I, I don't think I have a lot of games on my channel that are for Dawn of War enthusiasts per se. But I have a lot of good games on my channel, of course, because, <laughs> of course. <laughs> because that's, <laughs> that's how it rolls, right? So um, you, you, you can see a lot of good games on my channel, uh, the little self-advertisement over here. Um, but um, at the back of my head, a sci-fi setting, should it be probably... Uh, did I play a lot of sci-fi? I do play a lot of medieval-themed things. But if you like more like these retro games, like that are really good in their perspective uh, genre, go go um, watch some of my Stronghold stuff because Stronghold is an absolutely awesome game. Uh, Stronghold One and Crusader that is. Um, it actually got a definitive edition uh, the other day. So. Oh yeah, of course they've got they've got new campaigns and they've, they've, I think from what I understand from the footage that I've seen people make of it that some of the original missions are a little bit harder than before so it's good for any kind of seasoned professionals or experienced players. Oh good lord, sorry, sorry they've got all the chaos space now coming over. It's about to fall back. <laughs> Decimate and everything, yeah, there you go. <laughs> we are on the level 9 as well so we are, we are, we are closing in. Um, yeah, um... What was I talking again when before we stopped here? Um, yeah, the, the stronghold. Yeah, um, there, there are other uh, big stronghold YouTubers uh, the, out there, but uh, they are not. Uh, they have not the best kind of humor, <laughs> if you ask me. But <laughs> so um, there's still some Ryan, um, some ways to watch my videos, I guess. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I think I will do some, we will redo some of my uh, Let's Plays I did for Stronghold with the Definitive Edition, edition uh, at some point. Just because it's uh, it's a game I grew up with and I played also a hell of a lot when I was younger. I remember playing like the demo from a PC magazine, like th that's the old kind of days there were. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I am old. Aww. Okay, so oh, we're on the topic of games. Now, now I've gone for the list of everyone who sent questions in. So thank you everyone who did send questions in to make my job a lot more easier. So now I'm going to be asking questions on the fly. Are there so I don't, like so I a while ago we was talking about games that have like a really good story that we thought, yeah, you know what, this story for this game is quite a good one. Do you have any any games that you think they would recommend, say, yeah, you know what, get this just for the story alone? Uh, yes, Nier Automata. Um, a lot of people see this game first and see like this half-naked uh, woman walking around and be like, oh, just another one of these Japan, uh, J J uh, um, Japan, um, Japan games and with half-naked units and it's, yeah. No, it's not. It's like, you, you have to be a little patient in the beginning because like the good first you could say almost the first half is more or less about um, an intro-ish kind of thing but um, it gets better and better and better the longer you play and and, it, and 
at some point y you, your brain is is uh, totally um, in in how should I say not in shambles but like it's twisted <laughs> in many directions because you're like ha what 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 did I just notice here and I have to say uh, this is getting a little maybe a little too <laughs> uh, close by but this is the the, new, the newest game you could say or the, the last game I had really emotions with like the story that made me made me cry a bit I have to say at some point so that's something not a lot of games have managed uh, in the past years so this is something I will always remember about Neo Automata there Oh definitely like when I, when I first started playing that game it just seemed like a the standard oh yep yeah, yep yeah, it's sexy anime people wasn't really my bag played maybe about an hour of it gave up on it and I thought I'd moved house at the time, so I didn't have any internet, so I thought, well, I've already downloaded this game, I can't download another game, may as well actually play it. My goodness, that story goes from 0 to 10, back to 0, back to 10 again, it's it's, it's a complete roller coaster that game. Yeah, and, and yeah, uh, there, there, are, there are multiple endings, uh, that's not big spoilers by saying that, um, but multiple endings, and even the first one, I, I had tears in my eye in the end, uh, yeah. I need to, I, I will actually at some point, like a lot of stuff I will say here at some point because I have stuff planned years in advance actually, I will at some point play the game on my channel and go for all the endings and have it uh, get some proper recognition uh, as it should be. Yeah, uh, that, that, that'd, be, that'd be quite cool to, to watch I reckon. Okay, um, oh. There's questions. a lot of going on here, questions. I have to say. <laughs> I was going to say, it's hard to think of questions when you've got to I mean, bring the might of the Imperium down upon your furs. Oh boy. And they're just, they're, they do, do not stop coming, do they? No, they're, they're quite keen on just being a god of so, so many. <laughs> it's just chaos, uh, like in the real name of things. It's just chaos everywhere. Oh, go on then. If you had to uh, worship a chaos god, which one would it be and why? Uh, probably Nurgle, because Nurgle really loves me and gives me a, a cold <laughs> more than I would like. So at some point I was thinking, maybe I should stop resisting and just embrace him, you know? If you cannot kill them, join them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's, uh, is this, that, that's, that's a confession to heresy, Max, but <laughs> we forgive you, maybe. I don't yeah. know. It, it, it's, it's chaos worship a forgivable sin? I don't, I don't know if it is. Uh, so if, if I have to choose one, it's all theoretical, right? <laughs> oh, of, co of course, it's all theoretical. Yeah, there's no actual chaos worship going on. Yeah, please don't send the commissars our <laughs> way. Uh, <laughs> there's a freaking feral titan hung up at my turrets at my critical location and dies to turrets. Ha! So, Excellent. Ah, okay, it's it's gone. It's okay now. There's a big okay next to your assault has failed advance. So there we go. A click to victory. Excellent. Where is the? Is it just on the opposite corner from where we are? I, I think so. Yes. Like the bottom. A move. We can do it. Oh no! Oh, I've been assaulted by a Titan on, on my end. Right. So okay. Titan and Titan action, it's attack on Titans. Ready to help. I'll pull back the infantry for now. Yeah, your well. Titan has uh, quite a way to go, I gotta say. <laughs> he's fine, he's, he's got long legs. <laughs> True. You can get there. The, the Feral Titan is tier 1 and your Titan is tier 2. If you could have played Insane, there would be a tier 2 Titan, but uh, I thought Insane is a little too uh, in insane. Ha! Mm. Ha! <laughs> yes, no, in indeed. Uh, last time we did something like this. Yeah, difficulty, a bit too much. I, I quite like a, a nice relaxing kind of game, I have to say. Yeah, we didn't go insane, we didn't go enemy outposts. We just did some, like, uh, we have heroes on and also the, uh, the that makes our turrets absolutely beasts. Um, what is it called again? Whatever. But I remembered now this, this handy game, this mobile game. It's Tyrant Unleashed. It's you. You cannot play it now because it's totally in a bad spot now. It's got like uh, you know the uh, the term power creep. Um, 
Uh, yeah, that's the definition what they do over there. The power crafted to absolutely mad levels. Oh, that's a shame. Just to have some numbers for it, like um, the first when when I started the game, the the first cards and the first good cards had like maybe I don't know ten attack. And when I last looked at the game, uh, when a friend of mine played it, they are now like at 130 or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're like totally out of control. You cannot play this. Yeah, I, I used to play a lot of Hearthstone uh, a long time ago. And those kinds of games, like you say, it's, it's a matter of... It's fine in the first couple of years it's out. And then eventually it's like, oh, we've got this expansion pack, and I've got this expansion pack, and oh, you need to, if you've got the old expansions, then you can't do rubbish, and it's, it's why I don't really play many card games in real life, to be honest, because, I, mean, so, I mean, all card games are, are paid to win, aren't they? So if you invest so much money in running a game, and then knowing full well that in a couple of years' time, all your cards are going to be useless, it's kind of a piece of objective of it. Yeah, um, the only card game I ever wanted to play again was like Magic the Gathering because they had like these Warhammer 40k themed decks like coming out a few years no this year was it this year or the year before and I was like hell yeah I get this <laughs> I got all the decks all the four decks spent a lot of money and now notice that I do not have really someone to play with <laughs> and they're in a, in a, in a box uh, in, in my flat so <laughs> <laughs> but oh, yeah. you never know, they might be valuable one day. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, there are still guys at our doorsteps? What, what is going on here? Yeah, I am, I am getting my shit pushed in, part of my French, but this is... <laughs> this is quite an indomitable task. We will hold the line, but for how long it remains to be seen. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, emergency, get some soldiers in. Are there still some pioneers alive? Yes, there are. Um, thing is, I'm closing into their base, but it's uh, it's getting uh, it takes some takes some takes a while. Okay, I should in theory be able to defend if I can saw this blooming titan that's right outside my base. Nothing. Some soldiers with rocket launchers cannot deal with. <laughs> Where are they? Right click, you have rocket launchers. Oh, the, but there's what? Chaos Sorcerer? Chaos Sorcerer. <laughs> Multiple Chaos Sorcerers, of course. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> they, they lost their morale and immediately die. That's how they do. They killed everything. Uh, can you please rebuild this one? And you're just stuck here over here. Yeah, of course. Turn off pathing strikes again. You know what? That's the one thing. I'd like you to change. Yeah. If you want access to the code, would be to fix the plumbing pathing. That's that's also good. That would be a good thing. Uh, yeah, I, I have to agree. It's it's more or less like the fifth chaos god, the uh, the god of pathing. <laughs> well, so I wonder what kind of dark worship you'd need to do to be able to. Oh, it's like I have god got satisfied. a lot of reinforcements. Um. Target. We need a target. Saddle up. Saddle up. Oh, they will all. Back in the fight. Okay, you right. killed the Titan, so I don't need, even need even do not need to send to you even. So just continue the attack over here. Uh, so yeah, you keep on pushing. I'll keep on. It seems like there's a lot of enemies spawning from the other corner of the map, so I might just concentrate over there. I think the spawns for the waves are on the corners, on the left and right hand corner, but the actually base is in the bottom. Ah. Oh, you this kill is the base and I'll sort out the spawns. Come on, it's Stormblade at 300 HP. Go Trojan, that's your... The Titan is actually coming over here. It's still alive. <laughs> oh, oh, is it just given up? I'm oh, sad to uh, come back and defend. Yeah, and wow. One shot my legionnaires. There's one legionnaire surviving. It's the uh, sergeant, and he's dead now. Jesus Christ. Dear, dear. All I wanted to do is win. It's all about winning. That's what the game's all about. Everybody who tells it's about fun, 
and stuff, they lie. It's about winning. Everybody knows that. No, I completely agree with you there. If you're not playing to win, you're playing to lose. The Titan is still alive. Can we ignore the Titan? <laughs> and just, I've uh, got a flanking Titan coming in. That's the only downside for Steel one. Legion in this version. You cannot have a Titan. Um, but I, I have, as I said, I have a little <laughs> um, cheese here. I have both Doctrines active, so I have like two Radic units to make up for it. But it doesn't seem to be enough. Freaking chaos. Oh, there comes the damage. There we go. I, I will see it going down. Come on. Bomb, 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 bomb. Where comes the big shot? There it comes. Bring it down, bring it down. And there we go. I like how, how the the uh, Warlord Titans like falling over <laughs> and looking like uh, like from Mario, these, these Koopa Troopers when they die. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Fall back to second. I get yeah. And there he moves in the uh, Weaver Titan, slowly but surely. Two Volkite weapons on the top and on his side. Or the one is probably laser gun, a last gun or something. Just yeah, know. it's, it's uh, not sure what the one on the right side is because it won't. Won't tell me, but it's that's cool. I think it's a turbo laser destroyer or something. I have no idea. As I said, I have no idea of the law. Some of the some of the names of the uh, guns are really funny. I have to say. Oh yeah, it's, it's just Latin, isn't it? It's just default. Oh well, if it, if we make it sound Latin, we will make it sound cool. So fair enough. Oh, these are my only infantry troops. All right, all right. <laughs> these stormtroopers is all the infantry I have here. So, <laughs> why is everybody dead now? This is not not how the plan. That was not part of the plan. That wasn't part of the plan. No, you're right there. All right, turn around and run away. Servitors. Oh no, I, I think I've ran over my own servitors. That's not good. He has no detection. Stand firm. Oh, now he has detection. Jesus. Ouch. That was my stormtroopers. Ha! Huh, this is taking a little longer than I wanted those pesky, pesky uh, chaos to uh, be alive. Ah. Hmm. Alright, so. Um, We've got, uh, uh, it feels like we're coming to the, to the end. At least I was, uh, I was, I was going to save like a few more questions till towards maybe some kind of like ending and stuff. But if you had any advice for anyone who wanted to start their own uh, YouTube channel with all, with all the experience that you've gained from doing casts and also from um, your let's plays and stuff, have you got any advice for people? Yes, do what you like to do, not what people tell you to do. That's the most important advice I can give you because the people will see if you do not like what to do. It's easily, you can tell it easily. All the acting in the world is not good enough to make uh, make it not show in the end. So yeah, if you if you want to do it, start a YouTube channel and with some content and stuff, always, always only do stuff that you like to do. And if you do not enjoy it anymore, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Just... Uh. Oh, I mean, good, fairly good advice. It's, it's, uh, I, think we've, I think everyone who's done YouTube has probably looked at the algorithm and thought, hey, would it be nice to get those kinds of views for doing that kind of game and stuff? I mean, I've looked at things like League of Legends and thought, ooh, that would get a lot of views if, if I was good at it, but then... <laughs> You know, being good at League of Legends, that means you've got to sell your soul, and who needs that? You cannot be good in a, a MOBA without uh, doing just a MOBA, I have to say. I played a lot of uh, Dota 2 back in the day, even Dota 1, that's how I old I am. I played Dota 1 and Warcraft 3 engine uh, for quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's something you cannot continue forever. 
you, you, no. either, you, you will grow old, basically. It's really it. You, th these games are too fast for my age. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and because they're constantly being updated as well, there's never like one singular meta that lasts for too long. Uh, yeah, actually, that's the. Yeah, the. At one patch you can think of, at one version, I felt like I'm good. But then they continued making the game faster and faster and faster. And yeah, now I can cannot play it because it's too fast for my <laughs> fingers and everything. I think you killed all the guys and I managed to sidestep them and maybe, maybe we... I, I see two strongholds here. Yes, we're, we're approaching, approaching the end, possibly. We might be able to get it. And what did what did it do? Some horses, of course. The, yes. The solution for everything. Horses. The horse, of course. That's what you want. Uh, come on, deep strike a lemon rust because we can. <laughs> yeah, just bring one in. There we go. That's my my favorite bit actually with a uh, new version of Steel Legion coming in. Not only deep striking in Lehman Rust, but also deep striking in Bane Blades. This is gonna be so good. Yes. There's nothing that says fuck you like just dropping a Bane Blade on top of an enemy's base. Yes. Uh, no joke, these horses, they, they're carrying it. Oh, that certainly, yeah. Makes me think of the. Uh, epic cavalry charge that was on Jagus's 1k stream. Oh, How yeah, but was that? that was, yeah, it was his 1k stream and a uh, stream, and then they got in and absolutely got minced <laughs> against yeah. these Necrons. But this time, against these Chaos Bastards with full upgrades, they're just standing here. Because this is about the part where the game crashed on me. I mean, I, I put the game on the limits, put on high settings, all corpses, and yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad that it survived that long. So the rest of the game, you have to imagine in your heads how we finished the last few buildings and then have the victory screen. So it's not much lost. What is lost is the outro of Mr. Lanchuk. So um, big thanks to him for joining me for this special. So uh, I have a little interview going for this Q&A. So it's a little more um, entertaining, I hope. Uh, you know his channel probably. He has uh, quite a big YouTube channel. Uh, nowadays so yeah go check him out if you haven't already and yeah finally the words to you guys I I thank you so much for your continued support for being here for watching my videos for having some comments and likes and all the love so I I enjoyed quite a lot I'm I'm happy I'm happy to be here happy to deliver to you um, as it's very positive for the most part so it's a uh, good Good feeling for me and this video was more for you to um, learn a bit more about the guy behind the mic so i hope you enjoyed it um, so if you uh, have any other suggestions on what to do in the future you can leave it here if you have some more questions that i haven't tackled in the video you can also ask here i, I may or may uh, not answer depending on the question yeah but this wraps this special up i yeah as i said i'm really grateful for this i'm have good hopes for the future that I can continue growing on this um, mod and um, various other games I do um, cover on my channel. Yeah, but this um, covers it all, I think. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.